What's going on, everybody? I'm Patrick from Powlax, where we create confident coaches because confident coaches create great environments for players. This video is an excerpt from our How to Beat a Zone video, where we discuss the one for one carry step off zone offense. This video is brought to you by Powlax.com. This is where we house and organize all of the Powlax lacrosse coaching content so that it's easier to find. And I'm just going to go through some of our sections right now, show you what it has to offer so that if there's ever a time you need more lacrosse content, you know exactly where to find it. Our first section is our master coach section. This is all of our strategy videos, our offenses, defenses, man up, man down, riding, clearing, some box videos. This is also where this video will live and it will probably be like the two-man game video that will be divided up into sections that correspond to each way that we are going to try to beat the zone. Our next section is the drill section. This includes offensive passing, shooting, dodging drills, defensive drills like approaches, concept drills to teach players concepts we're going to use in games, and of course, player favorite drills like the do scrapping drill, uh, general one-on-ones, and of course, Wes Jenny. Our next section is the skill development section. This is going to teach proper technique as well as how players can practice at home. And then my personal favorite part of this section is the guided wall ball. This is actually going to have players play wall ball while they're listening and it's going to tell them when to switch from one technique to the other so that they can spend 10 minutes getting the best wall ball session that they can. Finally is the new lacrosse section. This is what we want to send to any of our brand new players and parents to get them started off on the right foot. The first video is what is lacrosse. It's going to go over the origins of the sport as well as its modern representations. And it's going to get players excited about being a part of the sport. There was an ESPN documentary about Jim Brown playing lacrosse a while back that's in that video. It it absolutely hypes people up. And the final section in our new to lacrosse, which is really important, is the choosing the right stick. This is going to teach people about pocket mechanics so that when they buy a brand new stick, they either know to get it restrung or they just know that the stick might not work as well as others so that when their kid struggles, they understand that it's the pocket's problem, not the kid. And hopefully they just get a good stick so that the the kid will enjoy the sport. The final thing I'm going to show you on Palax.com is the memberships. So the one I'm going to focus on is the silver membership, and this gives you access to the playbook PDFs that correspond to all of these videos, including this video. So what you do is you become a silver member for $5 per month, and you get access to my entire digital playbook. Then when you find something that you want, you just come to the videos. Let's say you want to do the Ohio State Pairs offense. Click on to that video, go to the page. And then you're going to click this PDF button below the video and it's going to download the playbook PDF for that. You can download it, print it out, put it in your playbook, have it forever, bring it to practice so you have something easy to reference. Now, as we move back into our 141 set within our lacrosse lab, now we're going to talk about the carry step off idea. So once again, our idea is that we want to attack the gaps of the defense, right? So as the ball swings around, one of the perimeter players is going to carry from one zone to another or kind of between and into the gaps. When that happens, one of the crease players is going to step off to the opposite side of that zone. The first way we're going to show that is with the top. Now, when I outline these in terms of names, I say north, east, west. We're not really going to do south, which would be X, because at X, since they've got two zones on the pipes, drawing out to those sides isn't really going to gain much of an advantage because there's on two sides of the field, we're not going to have any overloads. It just doesn't work quite as well. But so as one catches the ball here, he is going to carry to the right, to the left side of the field. And as he does that, three pops off into that space. Now, once he does that, if he throws back, now three has to rotate. We have this two on one with three and five. And then if the ball goes back to five, now this player, six, has to curl up field to complete the two-on-one here. If he does that, we then he steps in to shoot, but if six rotates, he would be passing down. The next way we can do it is by using the sides. So when we do carry step-offs for the sides, the biggest key is that we have the player at X has to come and become the extra man on each side. So as this player, as five, carries up the wing... He throws back. Now notice, 
once they get to the edge of these zones, as he throws back, we're just accommodating for these two zones, three and six. And then the player six on the blue team has to be the next player who kind of curls up to create the odd man advantage after we carried and stepped off. Now, this video is showing you the looks and how they go when, we, when they work, right? But if these don't work and we continue to swing the ball, the key is that then another player will cut to the crease so that we first had four, we carried and stepped off, now we have five perimeter players. Then we need to cut someone else to the crease so that we once again have four on the perimeter and then two inside, and then we'll just run it again. And so the first video we are going to show is of that happening really well. So now in our first video, UNC does a great job of moving into and out of the 1-4-1 one, one with carry step off with four on the perimeter and then five on the perimeter. So as we start to play, this player dodges, this player steps off, right? Now we have five on the perimeter. Nothing's there, so they move it. After a second, after they're looking, probing, swing the ball, and now the player who was originally on the crease to start with moves back into the middle and they're going to run the play again. Now, as he comes to the middle, this player actually just pops off again and it creates the same kind of overload scenario where then we have a great draw dump to a step down shot. So the key to this is definitely the fact that we really want to make sure that we are probing the defense as we're in this, not necessarily running it as, as if it was a set play. Now, in this example same basic idea we are gonna have a nice carry step off this player is gonna carry down the wing step off high and now the fact that we've got five players on the perimeter is gonna overload them as the ball swings so he dodges up the wing moves the ball drew one two three four passes to a step down so it is about probing it's about making sure that your players are just playing. Now, the next three examples are going to be the exact same play from the exact same game, and each one is going to give us a pretty decent opportunity. This is going to be our north step off. So catches it top center, carries to his right, throws back. Great look, step down. Next one, same basic idea. Ball is going to swing to top center. He's going to carry to his right, have a nice little step down. Now we rotate one more to a good shot, decent look. Finally, same exact thing, carry, step off, one, two, and this time he hits it. So if they're going to operate by the same principles, we are going to operate off of the same ideas. And so this is something that a lot of players seem to have trouble with, is they think that because we're running the same play again against the same defense, we're going to have the same result. But you never know which new defenders are in, who's going to miss an assignment. So each time you run it, it's got to feel like a brand new play. Okay. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hit me up on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of the above. Have a good one. I will see you guys in the next video.